society that goes with running an empire. But after causing the migrant crisis by intervening in Syria in an effort to topple Assad, the same leaders are now using the migrant crisis to justify further intervention in Syria in an effort to topple Assad. And as per usual, they're resting their propaganda on the corpses of dead kids because we're going to save the Syrian children by bombing the Syrian children. And all the usual hashtag trendies are jumping on the grief bandwagon to try and push their political agenda. Listen, until you're prepared to personally house a migrant and pay their way, stop tweeting migrants welcome to try and make yourself look good in front of your progressive friends. The little boy washed up on a Turkish beach didn't die because the West has immigration laws. His family was already safe in Turkey. He died because of criminal people smugglers who were willing to break those laws in order to get a payoff. European leaders are committing cultural and demographic suicide. Instead of handling this rationally and methodically by determining who is an actual war refugee and who is abusing the system, They've just swung the doors wide open, encouraging millions more to flood in from countries that have nothing whatsoever to do with the Syrian refugee crisis. This isn't compassionate humanitarianism. It's politically motivated lunacy. And it's going to end in disaster. And John Rappaport has a great article up at Infowars.com talking about the importance of right thinking. And no, not the right thinking that the totalitarians are trying to enforce on you, but he's arguing that this flood of population migration is an obvious globalist strategy. Make the only solution a global solution. Instigate the chaos that causes the migrations and then come in behind that with the answer. Better planning, better organization, international agreements. In short, a planned society for the borderless world. And then propagandize the idea that if the individual concerns himself with anything other than the group, he is selfish, greedy, inhumane. He is a criminal. And that's exactly what we are seeing pushed in the news. The individual is at stake here. And of course, that's why they're pushing this whole right thinking and trying to destroy anyone who doesn't agree with that. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about this coming up. Uh, Rob Dew will be joining me in studio. We're going to talk about the latest Agenda 21 plans, including how the Air Force One wants to take away some of the property there at uh, Area 51. And then Emmy Robin, an unaired interview with my very good friend, talking about the success of her cleanse. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. And finally tonight, we talk a lot here at InfoWars about the power of transforming your health naturally. And one of the most important ways that you can do that, it's the most effective, is by cleansing the body. Now, I eat pretty healthy. Uh, you know, I work out a lot. And lately, I've been training with my good friend, actress, and fitness model, Emmy Robin. And welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me. So we had a little, you know, a little issue the other day while we were, were working out. You weren't able to show up to one of uh, one of our training exercises because you were having a really sharp pain in your stomach. So Alex Jones and Anthony Gucciardi have been talking a lot about this liver shield detox cleanse. And I was doing a lot of research, just kind of grossing myself out, looking at all of the gallbladder infections and things like that that were out there because to me, it was just kind of unbelievable. So I was well versed in the symptoms of, you know, maybe gallstones. And so that's sort of what it sounded like to me when you were telling me the symptoms you were having. And I thought, you know, hey, well, why don't we see if this liver shield cleanse will work for you? And then, you know, your words, you had such stunning results. We wanted to get you into the studio uh, to just tell us what actually happened. Yeah, I mean, it's very serendipitous that we started working out and that this pain started to come about at the same time. And when we were at the gym and you were mentioning this, my aunt, who is also a nurse, um, had mentioned like, that sounds like your gallbladder. Why don't you get your gallbladder checked? Why don't you go to the doctor? Well, I like to do things holistically. I like to cleanse. Um, I've never cleansed the liver and the gallbladder. I have done master cleanse before, which does get into certain organs, but um, I decided like, okay, if Leanne is offering this liver shield and I can try it, you know, what, what's it gonna hurt? Um, took it home and I went gung-ho the next day. I followed Dr. Group's uh, directions to the T. Um, of course, you're gonna think, is this really gonna happen? Are things gonna come out of me? What's, you know, what's gonna happen with the <laughs> cleanse? Um, within the first two days, I was already, you know, craving the cheese and the meat and the breads and all the <laughs> stuff that we ingest that 
definitely takes on the, you know, the fatty intake into the liver and the gallbladder and causes all those problems. Um, on my own, I started doing a lot of research and uh, just getting off of birth control and having been on that for 12 years, I read that, you know, women who have been on birth control for a long period of time, it also affects the gallbladder. Hmm. So, you know, I drink alcohol on occasion. I'm in a band, so I like to drink when I play. Um, you know, but relatively, I'm relatively healthy, so I didn't know if it was my gallbladder. I just thought maybe it's gastritis, maybe it's something wrong. Yeah. Well, um, by day four, it was uh, the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely sober at a party um, with a bunch of drunk people, but uh, I felt amazing. <laughs> I was so detoxed by day four that I felt intoxicated, if that makes sense. I had yeah. so much oxygen flowing through my body. Um, I'm very aware when I do cleanses, a lot of them are, you know, 10 to 20 day cleanses. This is only five days. So it was amazing to feel what I would normally feel on day seven or day 10 of another cleanse that I've done relatively early, like day four, you right. know, and I kept thinking I'm only 24 hours away from seeing what's going to happen to my body, not to get too graphic. But um, when day five finally came, I was I was kind of excited. It was weird. Um, <laughs> I mean, when you're cleansing and you make it that far, it's it's a sense of pride. Um, you've mentally overcome, you know, your cravings because right. you do have cravings. It is hard. The first day is super hard. Right. I mean, if you can make it past the first day, then you wake up the next day, you tell yourself, OK, I made it 24 hours on a vegan diet, following the instructions, drinking all this. I mean, you're drinking tons of water. I took the oxy powder. Stuff's gonna happen with the oxy powder, obviously. <laughs> um, just make sure you're near a bathroom when you do the cleanse, but it's not that bad. It's not like, oh, I need a bathroom, you know? Yeah. Um, this is coming from a beautiful woman <laughs> saying this. It's, not afraid it's to okay. talk about it, not afraid. <laughs> um, but day five came, uh, I got, you know, towards the end of the day, I did the Epsom salt flush, which is that, out of everything, that's probably the most intense part of right. The cleanse is the Epsom salt. I mean, you're going to feel it 30 minutes after you take it. You're going to have to go to the bathroom, you know. Um, but then you do the olive oil, and that's intense. I don't know if anybody's ever chugged olive oil. Yeah, well, I, I've <laughs> actually read that that's kind of a holistic way of kind of clen cleansing. But now I, we've seen the pictures because we've kind of shown a lot of the pictures. You can Google them and see for yourself. I I got to, you know, be honest, I really did not believe that something like that would come out of someone's body unless they were like really ill or really yeah. old or, you know, only if the, their gallbladder ruptured or something like that. Like they, that was, you know, that was only at the hospital or something like that. And you, like you said, you're a healthy person yeah. since I've known you. I mean, you'll do master cleanse for 10 days. Yeah. Okay. Like really intense. Yeah. And, and it's hard. Like it's a so. lot harder than this one. <laughs> and this then so, so you've actually... That's, I mean, you saw the little yeah. pea-sized gall, gall Oh, I had quarter-sized and... um, wow. to get intense. I had about 10 quarter-sized come out first and then a bunch wow. of pea-sized. And it was really funny because the gallstones started to come out before I did the olive oil, which was crazy. They came out with the Epsom salt. When I did the Epsom salt, you do that right before you do the olive oil. Mm -hmm. And I had that's when I had the big ones come out. And I was kind of freaked out because they weren't just yellow and green. Like they said, they had some black to them. So right. I knew, okay, this was already beyond a point it that- could have gotten much, yes. much worse. And if I hadn't, like I said, this is very serendipitous. Like I feel super blessed that I was able to even do this cleanse because I got whatever that was out of me, but there's still more. I yeah. want to do it again. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be joining you <laughs> on that next adventure. So, so since you have done the master cleanse before, you've, you know, basically you don't eat on the master cleanse. Yeah. That's something where it's really intense. It's hard for a lot of people to stick with it. How much of this cleanse would you say was due to the really great diet versus the product? So, um, like I said, the first two days are really hard. It's, it's all about sticking to the diet and drinking the water and the apple cider vinegar in the water because the apple cider vinegar definitely, um, you know, it helps with the probiotics in your stomach and it'll it'll help with a lot of those cravings. Right. The faster you cleanse your body, the faster you're going to get those cravings out of your body. With right. the master cleanse, I was still craving up till day six because I still had stuff in my intestines and colon. 
So, so you just mix a little bit of this in with the water. You pour a whole vinegar. bottle of this in with a gallon of water and then apple cider vinegar, about two tablespoons. I do a little more because I like the flavor. And then you make another gallon of water with just apple cider vinegar and water in it. And you're alternating that, you know, you do four cups of this stuff a day and then four cups of that. And then you're just drinking as much 